Hi, we're here in the Project Neon offices with Dale Keller. Hi, Dale. Hi, Tony. The big squeeze, it started at the end of March. It's a 300 day closure, so that's gonna take us all the way through mid of January 2018. It's actually, we're squeezing down lanes on northbound and southbound US 95 from Rancho Interchange all the way to the Spaghetti Bowl. Well, we're doing this to make way for a new HOV structure that's going to connect the HOV lanes on US-95 to the express lanes on I-15. This is going to create 22 continuous miles of HOV network in the Las Vegas Valley. It's going to change the way the HOV lanes operate right now. You can say they don't really go anywhere, and they really don't. So the first time when the completion of the Project NEON, they'll have a whole system in place. In addition, we're making uh, the new HOV interchange called the NEON Gateway, so it adds that mobility and transportation choices. The Big Squeeze has a big impact and affects over 270,000 uh, daily commuters a day. So there's many different ways we're getting the message out there. Uh, first, we're asking people to pack their patients and use alternate routes. In addition, we are, uh, have this new thing called the Zipper Merge here in Nevada. We're asking the traveling public to use all the real estate there is on the freeway and then uh, merge at the end of that point and take turns to move faster. One other thing that we're implementing is our new Project Neon mobile app. So that's available free on Apple and on Android. And with those, uh, the mobile Neon app, we will send push notifications with updates on our project, uh, delays within the corridor, and also to relay information about closures and so forth. So it's a great tool. We're excited to have this be implemented. Well, thanks, Dale. Now let's go take a glimpse of Project Neon in progress. Contractors are building an 81-foot-tall, half-mile-long carpool flyover linking US-95 with I-15. The 18-span, two-lane concrete bridge will help create 22 miles of carpool lanes between US-95 and I-15. Crews will additionally redo one mile of US-95 concrete pavement that was last improved in 1992. Additionally, the department is communicating and strategizing with FAST about digital sign notifications as well as ramp and signal timing during the 300-day closures. It will closely monitor eight corridors with 70 signals through 35 freeway and arterial cameras, making real-time adjustments as necessary. Downtown Las Vegas access, however, will remain unaffected. Thanks for watching NDOT News. I'm Tony Ilya. Thank you.